but I need to cool it. See the blue, so you gotta put the blue in it, see? As it's wet, I can play in it all day long. When it dries, then it becomes problematic. It needs to be cooler. I can, con I can constantly throw color in there because it's wet. It's the medium. So you're not disrupting the, 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 the paper. But I remember my high school art teacher always saying, don't tickle the paper. <laughs> <laughs> don't tickle the paper. <laughs> you see how it's getting closer there? Yeah. yeah. And then you have to wait till it dries because one, this paper has for some reason this is a very yellow paper. Yeah, Why I is think it? It's natural. Huh? It's probably natural. Oh, right that's way. the problem. I'm like, this is yellow. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get that, and I can't. It's, that's the problem. You see that the paper is so yellow? Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get that because the paper is so yellow. You're mm -hmm. fighting this. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. I'm fighting it. So it might have been better if I did this up here. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. See the difference? Mm -hmm. And those three colors. Mm -hmm. And so what I would have you do is I would have you mix them. And then you then so when I when one of the students comes like, how do I I don't know how to do um, skin complexion. I said, yes you do, you just did it. Because it's all in the grays. You know, so everything you'll anything that you're gonna ever work with pretty much is always gonna be in the grays. So you learn to master the grays. Um, I really like that you brought up the point of tertiary colors and that you're mixing um, complementary colors to achieve that. Right. Because there's so many people that just go, oh, well, I'll just put black in it. No. I don't own black. I don't own black or white. Okay. And look how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. Right? 